You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online at kexp.org. Today we're streaming live video. Our good friend John Doe is back in the studios. Welcome back, John. It's like a monthly thing. It's <laughs> great to be here. Well, last time you were here, just a few weeks ago, you were surrounded by some extremely talented musicians. And again today, here you are with some super talent. You want to introduce your band real quick before you play some songs? Yes, uh, from my left to my right is uh, Chris Rhodes playing bass, DJ Bonebreak playing drums, and Jesse Dayton playing guitar. Uh, our missing member is Cindy Wasserman, who would be here, but she had a family emergency, so she's out. Well, we're excited to hear the songs from the Westerner live. Why don't you kick us off with one? What do you got first? Uh, this is called Get On Board, and it's a song about, uh, oh, you know, little things like life and death. Gotta get on board this train We gotta get on board this train You might get to choose Where you get on board But we gotta get on board this train You can choose your seat on this train your seat on this train You can look out the window Or stand in the aisle But we gotta get on board this train There's all kinds of people on this train There's all kinds of people on this train But there's no VIP I'm reserved Cause everybody's on board this train There's a mountain pass And a straight away There's a water stop On a rainy day Some people have come in from miles and miles away Others jump from the bridge at the end of the day But ready or not Cause here it comes We gotta get on board this train Say we gotta get on board We've got John Doe live on KEXP. We're streaming live video at kexp.org, playing songs from the newest album, The Westerner. And it looks like the next one's going to be on our beautiful grand piano. Yeah, here's one that uh, Cat Power, our uh, Sean Marshall sang on the record. Uh, Cindy would be singing beautiful, beautiful melody uh, harmonies. And it's called A Little Help. And I'll send this out to uh, uh, all the farm workers, speaking of Woody Guthrie. This was inspired by farm workers.
a ditch And now you're talking to the moon Help me Help me Everybody needs a little help Help me Won't you help me John Doe live on KEXP, playing songs from his latest album, The Westerner. John, you have called this record your psychedelic soul record from the Arizona desert. And it definitely seems to pay homage to the sort of open plains of Arizona, but it's a very spiritual and meaningful sounding record. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Oh my! Uh, well, it <laughs> maybe is not that. a little. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. In in a nutshell, it was uh, inspired by my friend Michael Blake, who wrote "Dances with Wolves," and <clears throat> I recorded it with Hal Gelb out at uh, Wave Lab. And Hal, uh, as part of Giant Sand, has influenced just tons of people in their sound, like Nico Case or Calexico. If it wasn't for Hal and Giant Sand, there would be no Calexico. And uh, it has all that space and reverb, and and uh, it kind of mirrors the the desert and. A lot of the songs are inspired by Michael and his life or, or just using him as a character, you know, uh, replacing something that I might have gone through with him and, or something we might have experienced similarly. <clears throat> and, um, you know, then we got Shepard Ferry to, to do the, the cover and, and that was because Shepard's a big punk rock fan and we've known each other for a little bit. And um, so it kind of all became more of a package. and. Um, and it's more like the idea <clears throat> that there's not one person who's a Westerner. It's like the idea of a, a person from the West. So not me or the kid on the cover or Michael or anybody else, but just the more of the, the idea of it, the ideal. It's interesting. That kind of uh, goes along with the way that you approached the book that you just did. It wasn't per one person, your idea, but you brought in a lot of people's voices. Yeah, well, that, that, was, <laughs> that was more being like Tom Sawyer, just like <laughs> getting somebody else to paint the fence. I heard you were strong-armed a little bit into uh, writing that book. Uh, en encouraged and, and then, yeah, badgered. <laughs> but what a beautiful result. It's so wonderful to hear all those different voices, little vignettes and uh, yeah. stories from people. Was it a fun project? It was great. I mean, at first I thought uh, I was a little reticent because it seemed like too much work. But then, you know, you know, the, the one inspiration that I had was to, to mirror the, the L.A. punk rock um, uh, ethos, which was collaboration, community, and stuff. So I got a bunch of other people to write chapters, and, and I could kind of um, be the narrator and, and curate it and, and nudge them one way or the other to, to find more of their voice and be more specific. And, and so, like, Los Angeles becomes more of a character, and uh, it's not just the, the uh, oral history that you've seen in a lot of those punk rock books where people just say, blah, blah, I did this, and you did that, and blah, 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 and it's all off the top of their heads. This is a little more considered. They had to write it down, and they had to look at it, and they said, does that, what a, you know, the story I want to tell, am I going to get sued, <laughs> et cetera, <laughs> which we had to change some names. That was very exciting. We had to, we had to leave out some names. <clears throat> it's such a fun book, and a lot of people, when they think of punk, the first thoughts that come to their mind is in the U.K. and New York, but a mm -hmm. huge burgeoning punk scene in the late 70s, early 80s in L.A. You actually were around for a lot of the punk stuff going on in New York, and so you can kind of feel the comparisons of the two. Is it yeah. very different? Well, I just kind of dipped my toe in it. I wasn't in, into it. I, I mean, I, I saw it in 75 and then left, because you know, I, I mean, I saw several shows there and stuff, but I wasn't part of it. 
Um, but I was just sick of the East Coast. So, I mean, the main difference is just the, the landscape, you know? New York is claustrophobic and dark, and Los Angeles is wide open. And, and you can, it kind of mirrors the freedom that everybody's looking for uh, in punk rock. And, and um, you know, you can see the, a 200 mile horizon rather than like a big ass building in front of you, you know, to cuts off your view, so. Well, the West seems to have been a good fit for you. You've been here for many decades, yeah. and I think you're an so long. icon of Western music. And we're talking about your book, Under the Big Black Sun, A Personal History of L.A. Punk. And X is going to be 40 years old next year. You've got a lot going Who'd on. Who'd thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? And uh, this beautiful new record, uh, I, I've lost count of how many solo records you have. Nine? I think it's a 10. Okay, okay, nine or 10. The Westerner, absolutely wonderful. You just did that song, A Little Help, which uh, you mentioned Sean Marshall, Cat Power, yeah. uh, helped out on. And then you also got to work with the incredible Debbie Harry I as know. well. I know, that's what... That's what happens when you stick around <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you're not a jerk. And you've got that song coming up, uh, Minus Debbie, today yeah. and uh, Cindy. But let's see what you can do next. You've got My Darling Blue Skies from the Westerner coming up. It's John Indeed. Doe. Indeed, here it goes. Um, this is a love song of sorts. My darling, my sweetheart, my sweetheart, my darling My sweetheart, my darling, my darling, my sweetheart My darling, my darling, my darling, my darling My sweetheart, my sweetheart, my sweetheart, my sweetheart Where you going now? Where you going now? KEXP, boy, that'll get you excited. <laughs> I know, I'm out of breath. I'm not even playing. We're 1230. Holy moly. <laughs> Chris, you look great over there on that well worn, looks like well loved stand up bass. Oh, yeah. I should mention John Doe and his incredible band playing tonight at the Tractor Tavern. That's right. Just a few tickets left. A great venue. You can get nice and close. 
Oh, yeah. We were going to play the, uh, the Enormo Dome, but it was booked. <laughs> You're a man of the people. Let your fans get close to you. Yeah, that's right. Very true. Um, so should we do, we'll do some more. Here's another one called Sunlight. And this is the most uh, Western of all songs we're doing tonight. <clears throat> Sunlight, John Doe from the new album, The Westerner, playing tonight at the Tractor Tavern. You got one more? We do, uh, and this normally has cowbell on it. We, we couldn't dig the cowbell out, so DJ is working uh, with one quarter of his hand tied behind his back. No cowbell. There will be cowbell tonight. More cowbell. You always got to keep him wanting more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? Ready? Do it. Backyard 
wishing well is full of dreams that might come true, or so it seems. The valley's hot, the lake is cold. We moved away to save our souls. The southern wind in your hair could blow away. John Doe, Go Baby Go from the new album, The Westerner. John, you looked over here at one point during the song, and I thought you wanted me to do Debbie's part. Oh, you should have. I would have loved it. At least the, the <laughs> let it roll. Oh, that sounds great. You can see John Doe and his band at the Tractor Tavern tonight, Jesse Dayton, G.J. Brombrake, and Chris Rhodes. You all sound so great together. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now what do we do? I know. <laughs> to go buy a cowbell, it sounds like. <laughs> no, it's in there. It's just deep in the van. It's in the car. Yeah. Oh, it's always so great to have you. So we'll have to drum up something for you to do next month. Sure, Shell. I'll and be here. we'll see you again soon. Right. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, now what are we going to do to the rest yeah. of the day? Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.